Hello class, this is the introduction to matrices. The singular is matrix, the plural is matrices. And I'm gonna show you today what a matrix is. Now, you could watch this video up here where the movie, The Matrix, tries to be very dramatic and tell you about what a matrix is in the original etymological sense of the word. That there is this kind of, um, embryo sort of what is the world in which we find ourselves um, that there's a lot of uh, mother kinds of words that relate to matrix uh, but the modern mathematical definition is not so technical what a matrix is is simply a bunch of numbers put into rows and columns so for example if we said that we took the numbers two three one zero negative nine and seven and laid them out like that, then that is a matrix. The box around it sort of helps you keep it straight to say where are the edges and keep things neat. But as long as you have information that is organized two-dimensionally, then that is a matrix. Now, one of the weird things about matrix is that when we talk about the size, we say how many uh, rows there are and then we say how many columns there are. So I always kind of have to think about, you know, in, um, in ancient Greece, how they had uh, uh, Corinthian columns like that, and, uh, and that, that's, that that's what helps me keep it straight when I'm trying to think about what are columns versus uh, a row is when you've got things lined up this way. So for example, this matrix right here is a two by three matrix. But this is the size that we say about it. And it's rather obnoxious because most things in math are X comma Y, but for some reason, history, we do the size of matrices as Y comma X. So you might have a matrix that is, uh, there would be a one by one matrix, or you might have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in which case that is a five by two matrix. So matrices are simply collections of numbers where the rows have something in common and the columns have something in common. Common. And there's lots of things that can be arranged in a matrix. Um, and if we had studied vectors already, I would tell you that that would be the normal thing to think about putting in there, but you don't know what that is yet. So what we want to study next then are the things that you can do with the matrix. What good are these? So you can do a lot of the things that you are used to. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, but you cannot divide. There is no such thing as matrix division. And matrix multiplication, boy, don't want to scare you, but there it can be done three different ways. There are three different things that you could count as matrix multiplication. So we'll get to that in a second. Let's start with the nice stuff. Let's start with adding, okay? So the first thing up is to say that adding and subtracting um, are simply where you have to have matrices of the same size. So you must be the same size. So for example, if I had one, two, plus uh, three, nine, that I can add those because the first one is a two by one and the second one is a two by one. And I'm simply going to add uh, corresponding elements, corresponding elements. So for example, in this case, I add the one and the three, and I get four, and then I add the two and the nine, and I get 11. So you could have a much bigger one. So suppose you were adding a three by three, um, negative one, negative one, negative one. Suppose you were adding a three by three, to a three by three, uh, that would be one, 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 one. I'm lazy. And so I'm just gonna add the top left to the top left, the top right to the top right to get the new top right, on and on and on down the line. So that's two, three, four, one, two, zero, 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 zero. No surprises there. If, however, somebody came along and tried to ask me to add 
a uh, three by three and a three by two, then the answer is undefined. Adding matrices of different sizes is undefined. And subtracting matrices is nothing special, that you simply say two, one, uh, negative one, negative two, and if you want to subtract from that, one, two, three, four, then you just subtract in the order that they are laid out there. So two minus one is one, one minus two is negative one, negative one minus three is negative four, negative two minus four is negative six just like you would expect, okay? So I think adding and subtracting are pretty straightforward, that this is not anything that you have to worry about too very much. And obviously, if subtracting like this works, then it must mean that putting multipliers out front, like subtracting is multiplying by negative one and then adding, that putting multipliers out front, how that must behave is, uh, pretty standard. So what this is called is this is called scalar multiplication. Multiplication. This is when you just have some number out in front of your matrix and it can be positive or negative. So if you have three times one, two, three, four, then you're simply going to multiply every single element by three. So that's going to be three, six, nine, twelve, like so. And it could have been a negative. Obviously, like we just did, if you have, if you're able to uh, subtract matrices, then uh, you can multiply by negative and then add. So that's going to be negative one and one and zero and two, and we just multiplied every element by negative one. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Adding's not too bad. Subtracting's not too bad. The first kind of multiplication of matrices is not too bad. The second and third kind are when we have a matrix times a matrix. And this is tricky. Um, let me put up a graphic about now of uh, how you might think about that. So what we're talking about doing here is we are going to take some particular uh, row of a matrix and mash it up with some particular column of a matrix and then we're going to bring all those elements together to produce one particular element. Uh, so what that means is if you have some matrix here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a two by three matrix. So in order for that um, matrix multiplication to work, I have to have a uh, similar kind of process going on here. So I'm going to take my, uh, the one column that I have of the second matrix, and I'm gonna mash it together with the first row of the first matrix. So what do I mean by that? Let's let's color code, uh, let's, go, let's go absolutely crazy color coding stuff. So all of these guys are in green and all of these guys are in pink. And then these guys will be blue down there. So we can keep it all straight about what's going on. So if, if we're gonna bring a row of this one and a column of that one together, they have to be the same size. So these numbers here have to be the same, that this is the test of are they equal, okay? So what that means is I take my numbers one, three, and five, which are from the original row of the first matrix, and now I'm gonna multiply them against the numbers from the first and only column of the second matrix. So one and negative one and two are all gonna be multiplied against them and those came from the pink. Uh, that's where I got those numbers. And then I'm gonna add all that together, okay? And so then I need to do the same with the blue. I need to take this two, four, six, which I just got from 
the second row of the first matrix, and then I need to mash those up with the column of the second matrix. So that's those same numbers again from the pink, and they're gonna multiply, and then with all those different products, I'm gonna sum them up, okay? So how big is that gonna be? Well, that's just gonna be one number. All that pink versus green is just gonna be one number, and all the blue versus pink is just gonna be one number. So this is gonna be a two by one when we get the answer. So you can see that this then tells you how big the answer is gonna be. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. One times one is one, three times negative one is negative three, five times two is 10, and one minus three is negative two, plus 10 is eight. And now let's do the other number, which is gonna come from two times one is two, four times negative one is negative four, six times two is 12. Two minus four is negative two, plus 12 is positive 10. So that is the answer to multiplying those two matrices. So it can get pretty complicated, and I'm gonna suggest a goofy little move for you in the beginning here. Since the movie The Matrix is all about kung fu and doing uh, all those different kind of cool wushu moves like that, um, I think that we should have a kind of kinesthetic model for what we're doing. So you're gonna take some particular row and some particular column and you're going to kung fu matrix chop them together. Hiya! Like that. And what this lets you do is it lets you see on this first uh, one here, I have, I sort of imagine that I've got one, three, and five written on this arm. And then on this arm, I've got one, negative one, and two written. And when I bring it over, those are the parts that come together and multiply. And then I have to add them up, okay? So let's do a harder one, and then we'll be able to see uh, what uh, we're talking about here. So if I make up some numbers here, two, zero, negative one, um, three, four, uh, five, negative two, zero, uh, one. So there's a three by three, three by three. And so uh, whatever I'm gonna multiply against, there has to be a three there. So let's do a three by two, so that our answer will be a three by two. And um, let's make up some numbers that work for that. So let's do zero and one and negative five, and nine, eight, 10. Okay, so if you get ready to try to do your matrix chop, you know that you're gonna have some blanks over here. You're going to have three blanks going down and two blanks going over. So that is the kind of shape that your answer must take that we're gonna take all the rows of the first one and each one is gonna get smashed together with a column of the second one. So first up, I put my hand up here and when I wanna find this number right there, I recognize that this is the top and the uh, leftmost spot on my matrix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold up my hand and I'm just gonna give a pink highlighter here. I'm gonna hold up my hand and have it hold it this way because that's the top one of that matrix. And then with my right arm in a different color, in orange, I'm going to uh, hold it up this way for the left column of that one. So now when I think about that in my mind, I'm bringing together, I've held up and I've got my left arm at the pink and my right arm at the orange and I'm visually looking at the problem and I'm gonna smash those two together by bending my right arm over hi on top of my left. So that is a, uh, okay, so who comes together when we do that? When we do that, I've got two times zero I've got zero times one, and I've got uh, negative one times negative five, so that's just a total of five, okay? So now, if I wanna try to find the next thing in this matrix, let's go over here and let's do the top right 
okay? So I still want to be doing the top one on the left matrix, but I want to be doing the right one now on the right matrix. So that'll get me top and right. And when I smash that together, I get two times nine, which is 18, plus zero uh, minus 10 is eight. So that's gonna get me an eight right there, okay? So now what do I have? Now I have middle left. Now I'm going for the middle left, so I need to realign which pieces I'm doing. I want to be doing the left edge over there, the left row, uh, column, and over here I want to be doing the middle row, so that's going to be those two, and when I smash that together, I get zero plus four minus 25 is negative 21 for that spot right there. And next up, let's do the uh, middle, middle right, and I switch colors to show you that I'm doing my arms up here like that. So middle right, oh, this is gonna get large. Okay, so I might have to write this down. 27 plus 32 plus 50 is going to be a 9 in the end there, and 8 and 2 is a heck of a lot. Okay. And so now I am needed to switch to the uh, bottom, and I'm just going to be lazy with my highlighting here and do the bottom right uh, first. And so that's going to be negative 18, and 0 and 10 is negative 8. And then I need to switch over to the left side and matrix chop those. 0, 0, negative 5 is negative 5. Okay, so I hope you see that it is quite doable to just, it's just a uh, arithmetic. It's something that machines are gonna be very good at. This is what Microsoft Excel does. This is something that there's a lot of buttons for in your calculator, a lot of different matrix operations. And I've shown you two of the kinds of matrix uh, operations. And so that is to say that there is scalar multiplication and then we did left versus right. Uh, in multiplication, and one of the weirdest things about matrices is that multiplication is not commutative. With numbers, three times two is the same as two times three, but matrices regard those as very different. So let me leave it as an exercise to you that if I have a, a one by five, one, two, three, four, five. A one by five times a five by one. One, two, three, four, five. Um, how big is my answer going to be? Versus if I do those the other way, if I do one, two, three, four, five times uh, one, two, three, four, five, then, so that's a five by one times a one by five, then how big are those answers going to be in each case? Does order matter with matrix multiplication?